categories are a broad way of defining incident types. Each category can contain a number of incident types and details. In this video, we'll take a broad overview of the concepts. The category names themselves are quite simple, and some can be hidden if necessary. Notice here from this list that these five categories can be hidden, whereas the others can be removed completely. When you disable a category, it moves to the Hidden Categories section below. To restore the category, simply click Show and then reorder the category as needed. You can also add as many categories as your school needs. The categories you decide to add will reflect things like your school's values, principles, and how you like to address issues of well-being. So this will require some careful planning. To see the detail of what a category can contain, we'll look at one as an example. You can then use the concepts shown here to set up other categories for your local situation. Let's take a look at positive incidents. The top section describes some simple category details. You're encouraged to read through these carefully and consider what is appropriate for your needs. If you decide you'd actually like to hide the category, you can do so here. Remember that in this example, we're in the positive incidents category. In this section, we can see the incident types that have already been added. You can easily add one by clicking New Type. Subtype is another level of detail, but we won't cover that in this video. We'll cover that separately. Within each incident type, we can create further detail still by adding incident details. If we take this first one, for example, you might think that effort is a bit broad and you'd like to make it more specific or provide a few options under that label. Let's have a look at the five incident details already recorded for this type. At the top, you can see that Yes, we are in the effort incident type. For this demonstration, we'll leave these settings as they are and focus our attention on the incident details below. Here you can see that there are five details listed for effort. Notice also that each of these has further configuration options. Before we go too much further, it's helpful to pause and think about what's happening here. We are categorizing an incident. It's positive, it's effort-based, and could be one of five details listed for positive effort. At this point, it might be helpful to stop and think carefully about how you want to plan this out. That's because you could quickly create a vast array of categories, incident types, and details, which may or may not help you achieve your goal. 